Hey guys, it's WizardWorld100, back with a small vlog to date the end of uh, December and to say Happy New Year's for uh, the new year in 2015. There's been a lot of stuff that's been going in 2014, such as uh, me getting back to doing video game reviews, so that was definitely one thing, but let's get on with um, the things that I'm going to talk about in this vlog, and which are pretty short, so let's get started! Videos! Now, I haven't made too many videos in this month that isn't exactly Sunday Showcase, so uh, one of the videos that I made was uh, Decap Attack on the Sega Genesis. I've been trying to get back to doing the Sega Genesis quickies, but just there's a lot of battle toads that was being played on stream. If you've been catching that on my uh, Twitch TV, was World 100 Gaming, the entire week of eight days streaming trying to do a challenge for it, so that really got in the way, but I had to do it, I had to get that out of the way. But it's finally done. Another video for you Kamen Riders or Togusatsu fans is a henchin' on demo of the uh, kick slash punch hopper uh, ve vector Zector, uh, that I have on my other channel, Kamen Rider Wiz War. So for those of you who wanted to see uh, how that toy plays out, is go check it out on that other channel. That I'll put a link in the description. There was an unboxing video of uh, this tablet that I'm using to read off a uh, little script of notes and stuff I wrote, which is uh, very, very helpful. So, uh, of all the places to use it, it's actually in this one vlog. I haven't done any live action script reading with it yet, but I soon will be. So, uh, just hang on tight, especially when it gets warmer. Uh, I also did an unboxing in that video alongside with this tablet is the Blue Yeti mic, which I haven't really done anything with it for myself, although I have. I used it to record for uh, other people, so, you know, can't wait to have you guys hear the amazingly much, much better quality. Even though my uh, Blue Snowball mic is still pretty good, the Yeti mic is just a whole lot better and so much cooler. So there's been a lot of Sunday showcases, I hope you guys uh, didn't mind them, and I especially hope that you enjoyed them. Uh, the ones that I've done are Nuclear Thrones on PC, uh, it's Zoid's Battle Legends, uh, which was last month, but I didn't talk about it in that last month's vlog because I was recording it as I was about to do it. Or, I want to record it after the vlog. D2 on the Dreamcast, that was a pretty interesting game. Go uh, check it out and see what I think of it. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U, which was uh, surprisingly pretty fun. I uh, would like to go back to uh, playing that too as well. Did I say I did Nuclear Thrones? Yeah, I did Nuclear Thrones and almost got to the Nuclear Throne. Just. Oh my goodness, just so close. But uh, watch the video and see how that ended tragically. And the last Sunday showcase for this month is uh, Silent Scope, also on the Dreamcast. Uh, quite a bunch of uh, people were voting for Dreamcast, but uh, thank you all for uh, voting on the Sunday showcase. I hope you'll keep watching, I hope you'll keep being entertained, and I hope you'll keep voting on my site, LazyWorks Creation. Every week there's always a new vote for the next game, so uh, be sure to check that out. It's at least, at the very least, a consistent series I've been doing. Stuff I got. I didn't particularly get too much stuff in this month, although I might still get a little bit more, but it, it, it's not a whole lot. So what I have currently right now is uh, at Game Mania, I got Zoid's Legacy on the Game Boy Advance in English, okay? Th that game is awesome. Loved it, but I had so much trouble finding it. And then finally, like, like right in like my one of my local game stores that I never even knew existed, or uh, maybe I did, but I just keep like uh, going past it because I don't go into that area much. But a uh, game mania had it for 20 bucks, and I was like, sold, got it, and so excited to play it. So now I have Zoid's Legacy and Zoid's Battle Legend, which uh, Battle Legends manual actually advertises Zoid's Legacy, which is so fucking awesome because the game is so good. The only thing that could have made it better is if it had a Game Plus mode. Uh, I also got Singularity for the PS3. I haven't played too much of it. I did take a look at the multiplayer, which uh, doesn't work on uh, PS3, but I, I decided to check it out anyways, and you know, I'm kind of a little excited to uh, start playing it, so um, I'll go into detail about that later. Now, a piece of equipment that I got was that now I finally own an actual NES. Uh, uh, my friend uh, Mini Ninjas, who, who also has a YouTube channel, go check him out, the link will be in the description, uh, sold me uh, one of his NES's and came with two controllers, uh, an RC cable that I didn't, I didn't use because like, fuck that, uh, an NES zapper, and the system, and they were all pretty much in good working condition. One of the controllers uh, had a little, mm, was a little flimsy with the B button, but still, 
that is a pretty decent amount of stuff that I uh, was supposed to pay him uh, $70, but uh, because of Zoid's Legacy, actually, that also ties in with that too. I only gave him $65, but uh, no, it, it's, 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 he was okay with it, so got that. And the power supply at Game Mania as well. I probably should mention that. Uh, actually, I do mention that because I wrote it down in here. Because it didn't count, because he didn't have an extra, like, power supply to uh, power the NES, so basically I bought one at Game Mania, and it was great. It saved space, because basically uh, it was able to power it was able to power the NES and my Super Nintendo at the same time, so I didn't have two giant bricks in my uh, power strip, and you know how much of a pain in the ass those things are with taking up space and such, like, jeez. Plan. Well, definitely I'm going to attempt uh, more Sega Genesis quickies, because, uh, well, that's at least something I can, you know, just easily do, and I do want to do it, and, and just, you know, have videos that uh, you guys can see and check out. So there's that. Gonna tr keep trying to do that. More Is It Worth It, because uh, I think it's a pretty good idea for a series, so, you know, what do you guys think? I certainly like uh, the way I'm doing it, just checking out a game and then at the end telling you, like, did I like it, did I think it was good, did I think it was, like, bad, and is it worth it or is it not, and such, but, which I think is, you know, a pretty good series. Go check it out. Especially since I made an intro for it, and I think the intro is pretty damn cool. More Sunday Showcase, as like I said, at least it's the very most consistent thing that uh, I have on this channel, where you, at least every Sunday you'll have something to watch. So, hope you're tuning in every Sunday to go watch a new Sunday Showcase showcasing the games that you guys vote on my site. Either that or I just like find a game and just like have it playing, or have me playing it. So, there's that. Another plan is now that I have an NES, starting to go uh, do some NES collecting. Uh, yeah, basically just finding a bunch of NES games. Because so far the only games I have are Battletoads, Blaster Master, and Star Tropics, which are all really, really good games that you know I've uh, I've played before. Well, not not Star Tropics, but you know I'm I'm getting better at it. But uh, yeah, generally pretty good games. So I hope to get more games for it, especially uh, some uh, Light Gun Zapper games. So. Maybe I can do some uh, uh, light gun game uh, videos and just tell you and do like a is it worth is the light gun worth it? So there's that. So thank you, mini ninjas. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Things I've done. Well, this one particular thing that took eight days to uh, do and clocking in at 41 hours is beating Battle Toads without dying a single time. Yes, I was uh, challenged by my friend Daniel to a to do a no death battle toad run with uh, Rash or Player One Toad, and <sighs> oh, eight days and forty one hours of failing, I finally beat it. You can see it on my uh, Let's Play channel, Wiz Hitman, which I don't really do too much other than upload my uh, stream videos on it, or at least the ones worth uh, uploading to it. But yeah, so I finally, finally beat the Dark Dark bitch with uh, player one rash and then immediately after that I just do it with zits and with no problems and it's just like oh I, I also finished that too so I did no deaths back to back with rash and zit so that was pretty impressive that was pretty cool and the madness is over I didn't do it 100% and if you know what 100% is then you know I don't need to explain it and I'm not gonna explain it right now but uh, let, let's say I didn't exactly fully play the game I did take shortcuts and stuff. Not the warp, though, like actual skilled uh, shortcuts that skip small sections of the level to end it faster. But other than that, I did do no death battle toads with both toads, and well, it's definitely a legacy that I've left in my history of gaming. Another thing that I've done, or something that's happened, I don't know why I wrote it here, but well, I know why I wrote it here, I just don't know how it ties in with this, is uh, I was donated a singularity by Sonic Shuffler. Uh, quote unquote donated. Well, he technically did, but you know, uh, I, I won't go into detail about that. But he donated the game, so thanks a lot for donating the game. Uh, you're awesome. So shout outs to uh, Sonic Shuffler. Go. Apparently he has a channel, so go check him out. Uh, yeah. So he he donated uh, the game like a couple of weeks back, and I haven't gotten around to it yet in in a review, and I, I just recently like. You know, found out about the message in my YouTube message box because there's no real notification for that. But I found out about it, and I was trying, and I was trying to say the reason you're not seeing a review of it yet is because one, I'm not trying to rush through it, even though 
two weeks is more than enough. Uh, but basically, I haven't gotten around to really playing it and writing a script for it. And plus, it's also, uh, we're in the winter months and the uh, fuckface furnace won't shut the fuck up. So that would really, really irk me when I uh, do uh, audio recording for it and video recording for it too. You can sort of hear my furnace in the back, but it's not as much because I'm doing it in my room. I, I just want the audio to come out good and, you know, I have to play the game, write the script for it, and I just kind of sort of want to take my time with it. That's, that's the other thing, because whenever I rush a video out, it looks like shit and people, including myself, don't really, really like it a lot, so, you know, I've, I've done that like three times in the past and I've never been satisfied with it. Like, I, like I'm just like, I want to do a redo of like certain videos that I've done in the past and I kind of do want to plan that. It's not that I'm running out, that I ran out of ideas, it's just I want to do a better job. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, the, another reason is because there's like after, after I finish this one video, then I'll get around to like working on uh, Singularity. So don't worry, you're not ripped off or anything like that. It's just I'm trying to take my time and also trying to spend time on it to review it properly, okay? I mean, you don't want to rush review where it's just like, you know, I, I get these things wrong and it's just like, you know, this review is really dumb. It's because it's just, it was rushed. So trying to take my time with it and I'll get around to it. I could at least, I, I could at the very least go play the game and write the script up and record later because you know, the furnace isn't going to stop me from that. So, uh, yeah, I'll get around to uh, playing it and writing down my thoughts, so at the very least I can do that in advance for it. I don't know why I even put this, but I've been watching a lot of old Transformers shows, like uh, the Unicron Trilogy, Beast Wars, Robots in Disguise, which is what I'm currently watching right now, and uh, for the most part, if it's not Energon, it was pretty entertaining. And one of the last things that I sort of want to mention is that, oh, I got a haircut if you haven't noticed, because uh, if you looked at my hair in the Sunday Showcase, it looked like shit. I look like crap with long hair. So short hair, nice and clean, and plus it's much easier to uh, uh, wash and dry my hair when whatever. So, and typically I, I prefer doing, recording myself with uh, short hair and like clean shave, which mm, I need to get around to doing that because I don't look that great with a mustache. So this vlog I uh, hopefully will edit to a very short degree with uh, so little stuff that I have uh, written on here. But um, yeah, I hope you had a much better month than me in December. And, uh, and Happy New Year to all of you, and see you all in 2015. This is Whisper 100, you're the viewers and I'm the vlogger, so stay tuned for more in 2015. See ya!